This is the Army Automatic Respiration Management exclusively for emergencies. It's just a simple device, two panes of plastic attached together with particular channels carved out. It has three ports, one that leads to the lungs, one that leads to the atmosphere, and one that is the input where a high pressure stream of air comes in. This device does one thing, and does one thing only. It takes a high pressure stream of air and switches it from one side to another. It does this at pressures that are determined by these set screws for high and low pressure control. And then we can also partially close the exhale port to set a particular timing for this. Here's how it works. A high flow rate of air comes through here and shoots out through one channel into the lungs. As the pressure builds up in the lungs, that propagates back through here and creates a flow that goes through this channel. Once it's high enough, and we can set this with this PIP pressure screw, it'll then push the central stream of air to the right, causing it to go of the exhalation port. As the high pressure air shoots out the exhalation channel, the air in the lungs is sucked out, and eventually it reaches a low enough pressure that the difference between this high pressure side and this now low pressure side creates a flow from the right to the left, pushing the high pressure stream back to the lungs and restarting the cycle. And here's the device in action. The gray piece, no bigger than a deck of cards, is all that's really needed here. It's hooked to two tubes, one to a constantly flowing air source and one to a test lung with some weight on it. This is a single piece FDM 3D printed design pulled off by our teammate Artemio Mendoza. Anyone can download it and test it out from our open source GitHub. Please do not use it on actual patients though. We are currently conducting professional tests with better lungs, emergency valves, and sensors, but this can at least give you a picture of the simplicity of this design. And here's another design by Jake Lunday, who uses a different fluidic concept to perform the same timer effect. You can see the different pressures reached in the liquid pressure sensor on the left. We call this measurement device a manometer, and it can be made by anyone with simple tubing and some water. So yeah, this is our ventilator. And it's really simple. It can be manufactured on the order of thousands to tens of thousands per week by a single machine. Um, it's cheap, it's easy. We can make it everywhere and we can get it out there pretty quickly. We just need to get this approved by regulatory bodies. We probably need some more testing, some more iterations on the design just to make sure it's perfect. And otherwise, it's good to go. We're really hoping to get this out there to field hospitals and to various places where this is needed as fast as we can. This device obviously can't do much. It only has two different settings, and then an input uh, pressure that you can change, and that's about it. But that's probably all we need. If we can just treat the average patient and give them a certain amount of PIP and PEEP pressure, then we should be able to hopefully provide ventilators for the majority of patients coming through and save the special cases and the ones who need very specific care for professional ventilation machines. We're hoping that this will help us deal with the big influx of need for ventilation in the coming weeks. The best scenario we have is that politicians and regulators will notice this device and see the benefits that it has, and then use an executive order to produce hundreds of thousands of these in the next couple weeks and bring them to the places that need them most. 
it's a race against time, so we need all the help we can get. If you can help with funding or contacts or just sharing this with your friends, that would help a lot. Please help us by spreading this video with your friends and family, especially if they're in the medical industry, and help us to get the word out there on this device. We do have a potential answer here. We're not 100% certain it's going to work perfectly, but we're pretty sure, we're pretty happy with it. We emphasize that this is not currently a medical device approved by any regulatory body. It is not ready for public use. We hope for this to change, but even then it should be administered only by medical professionals and only during this coronavirus emergency. We hope this doesn't need to be used by anyone, but we fear it might need to be. Thank you for listening. We hope this can help. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Woo! <laughs> Hope we get through this quarantine, everyone. Stay safe out there. <laughs>